In 2002, Chad Crittenden, a 33-year-old father, grade school teacher, and athlete, had his foot amputated because of a rare but dangerous form of cancer, synovial sarcoma. With encouragement from the support group Stumps R Us, Crittenden determined that the loss of his foot wasn't going to slow him down. Less than a year after his amputation, he completed a triathlon. And in 2004, he became a contestant on the CBS reality show Survivor. From the opening scene of Survivor, when it's uh, when there was an opening ceremony and we were just told to, to climb down through this jungle to, to find the beach and to find our camp, um, it started off as physical as it could get. So it was pouring rain through the jungle, through rocks, streams, these little waterfalls to get to a beach, rocky, craggy cliffs, miles and hours of, of hiking to get to where our designated beach was. He was the first handicapped person to really be on that show, our first amputee to be on that show, and did very well. But when we start off, uh, he had, he wanted to go back to his active lifestyle, but I had to explain to him that it's a process that you go through. I was going to Wayne every other day, it was sometimes several days in a row, um, learning about, we called it gorilla prosthetics. You know, it's kind of like I was in boot camp, I was having to take my prosthesis apart, put back together many times so that I knew how to do it in the dark or with sand or if it's wet or goop, you know, was on it and, or if I was missing this part, what I can use in its place and we prepared and it, it, we needed to because uh, a lot of that stuff came into play. And they didn't even know on the Survivor show he was an amputee until like three weeks into it when uh, he took the, the leg off and showed them. That was part of what we were um, the producers and I had, had planned on it so I could prove myself as, as an able-bodied person first and then once uh, I was accepted as part of the, of the team, the tribe as it were, um, then I would reveal you know, that I had uh, a fake foot and that I was other than able-bodied, you know, in heavy quotes. After Survivor, Crittenton took a leave of absence from teaching to be a stay-at-home dad with his two children. He continued to participate in triathlons and in 2007 joined a soccer league, again concealing the fact that he had a prosthetic leg until after he made the team. With the attention brought by his appearance on Survivor, Crittenden also discovered how much his own optimism and determination could mean to other people. I got this long letter from this woman whose husband had lived with extreme pain in a partially working foot. And amputation seemed like the most extreme thing in the world, but then after seeing me on the show, they decided to do it, and she's just writing about how his recovery's been amazingly quick. He's back to his old self, and he knows that now he can start doing all these other athletic activities that he used to do. You know, just from turning on the TV on Thursday night, that was what, what did it for him. And that, it was just amazing to be able to, to, you know, pass that on, really, to someone else. Instead of going back to teaching grade school, Crittenden has begun a career as a motivational speaker, teaching by both word and example the difference a positive attitude can make. So what you want to do is look ahead and say, all right, this is what I'm going through now, I'm going through this junk, but this is the light, this is what, this is my goal, this is the, the light at the end of the tunnel, this is where I'm going to be in six months, a year, and I'm going to be able to do all this awesome stuff, because look, this person can do it, why shouldn't I be able to do it?